What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can install Zish and get it themed to get a much better looking terminal. By default, it's probably plain and boring. Maybe you've applied a theme to change the colors, but that's it. In order to get those nice looking pills or different colored text at the start, most people use oh my ZSH, which we'll be setting up here. Obviously, first of all, if you're not already using Zish, you'll need to install it using your package manager of choice. As I'm running Endeavor OS and Arch Linux, I'll be running yay ZSH, but for you, it may be apt get pacman etc i'll choose the correct one to install which in my case is just one enter my password and install it then what we need to do is run zsh hit enter and you'll see a first run bit of information telling us to create our configuration files i'll press any key to continue and you'll see it's created zish rc in my home directory what we'll do now is install oh my zish in the description down below, you'll find a link to the GitHub page for this project. All we need to do is scroll down to the first installation command and copy one of these here. I'll be using the curl one. Simply pasting it into our terminal and hitting enter should clone it and start the installation process. First of all, do you want to change your default shell? Hit Y and enter. Then enter your password and Zish should become your default terminal as well as showing you your new theme. By default, it already has some color, but you can customize it further. The next time you open up a terminal or restart your system and then open a terminal, you should see it's updated. I haven't restarted, so it hasn't updated here. Anyways, one of the things we get with Zish are things like auto suggestions, which I would recommend installing. It's a super popular plugin. Simply scrolling down, we'll click the installation and in here, finding your correct system. In my case, it's an Arch based system. So I'll choose that. What we'll do in here is choose Oh My Zish and we'll see the installation command here. Copy the first one and paste it into your terminal. Hit enter. This will clone it. Then we'll need to edit Zish RC in your home directory. So I'll use nano tilde slash dot zs hrc and in here we'll copy zish auto suggestions and place it in the plugin section so i'll scroll down to the plugins or rather search for plugins and in here you can see git is already a plugin i'll add a space and paste it in with Control shift v Control s to save and Control x to close another plugin i'd recommend installing is zish syntax highlighting once again we'll be scrolling down choosing install then in here we'll just scroll down until we see with a plugin manager and in this section we'll be copying the first command here for oh my zish we'll paste it in enter and once again edit our config where we'll scroll down to plugins once more and add another space followed by zish syntax highlighting we'll paste it in Control s Control x and we're done with that now we'll get to theming we'll go ahead and install a font i'll be using a font that matches a theme i'll be installing in just a moment the theme that i'll be using is power level 10k for this i'll be installing yay followed by power level 10k to search for it and we're looking for the one that starts with ttf meslo node font this one over here i'll enter three and hit enter there we go then we'll let this install hit yes and we'll get to downloading and setting up our theme in the description down below you'll find a link to the oh my zish themes page where there's tons of different themes to choose from there are many themes on this page but unfortunately the one that has a super nice installer which i'll be showing you here power level 10k isn't on this list it has its own github page which you'll find linked down below here simply look for installation then oh my zish and we'll be copying this first command here we'll paste it into our terminal hit enter once this is done we'll add it to our settings using nano the slash dot zshrc and in here this time we're looking for zish theme we'll change this to be power level 10k slash power level 10k we'll save close and we'll restart our terminal. You should see a prompt asking you if you see the icons correctly. This is verifying that your node fonts is set up correctly. This does look like a diamond, so I'll confirm it. This is not an up arrow. This is, however, the down digit is pointing at a one, and all of these do fit between the crosses as far as I can tell. Actually, no, this one's going over a little bit. So I'll say some icons overlap. Then finally, we can choose a theme. This is where your major customization comes in. I like the pills, so I'll be using three and I'll be choosing Unicode. You can choose a time format, whether it's 12 or 24 hours. I like 24 hours. Prompt separators. I think that probably slanted looks pretty good. So I'll choose three. Prompt heads. I think I want a pointy one, so I'll choose one. Tail, I'll choose maybe blurred. And finally, prompt height, we can have on the same line or on the next line, I'll choose one. 
spacing, compact is fine for me. Many icons or few icons, many icons looks pretty good to me. Concise is probably better in my case. And to enable echoes of it and leave them behind as you're running commands, you can choose no here. Otherwise, yes, if you only want this appearing on your latest command, which may result in your console looking a little bit cleaner. I'll choose yes in my case. And for the last few, we'll choose the recommended, which is verbose. And yes, there we go. This is what my terminal looks like. Now, do note it's made a backup of your config here. And of course, if you'd like to restore it in the future, you can restore it from these two here. It is in your temp folder. So when you restart, it'll be gone. Anyways, I like how it looks. And of course, as we're typing, it'll tell us when it's a real command. Or of course, we get autocomplete, even for custom things that we've installed, assuming we've run them before. So if I'm typing FFmpeg again, you can see it fills in the rest and reminds us of what we typed. Oh, and also, if your terminal hasn't started using ZSH by default, you can either enter it manually with Zish, otherwise you can open up your terminal settings and set it in there. As I'm using console, I'll use the hamburger button, followed by more, settings, manage profiles, and in here, under a new profile that I've created, I'll choose edit, and in here, give it bin Zish to work with instead of bash. That's it. I'll apply changes and the next time we start up a terminal or console in my case, it should be updated. Sweet. Assuming you don't like what your terminal looks like, you can run p10k space configure in the future and get back to your configuration, which we can run through again to recustomize how our system looks. So this time I think I'll change my selection. So I'll quickly run through these to include maybe the classic instead, Unicode. Let's go with darkest 24 hour format. I think slanted looks pretty good. I'll make it blurred and blurred two lines dotted. As for the frame, I think I'll have it on both sides, sparse, many icons, concise, and I'll enable my transient once again, then the recommended here. And there we go. If you see an error code like this saying no handler installed for FD14, git status, etc. This is the Zish auto suggestions giving us issues. We can use nano tilde slash Zish RC. And in here at the very bottom, we'll add unset Zish underscore auto suggest use async as such. We'll save control S control X to close and Zish to restart our terminal clear. And there we go. It's a lot better now. In the future, when you're watching this, you may not need to go through those extra steps. If you come across this bug, as there is a pull request to try and fix it. If you ever get into a situation that you don't know what you're doing, simply copy the text in the error, Google it, and someone's probably already found the solution, which is what I did in my case. And one final plugin suggestion is the Zish interactive CD. So when you're changing directory, you can simply hit tab and it'll give you some suggestions. You can use the arrow keys and enter to get into it. Tab again, and you'll get some more suggestions. It's pretty cool. In order to get this, you'll need FZF installed first, which is the fast fuzzy finder, or just fuzzy finder, I think it is. By default on most systems, it'll come pre-installed. You can use yay or whatever your package manager is to search for FZF, and you should see it's probably automatically installed when you installed your system. You can also check with FZF, and if you see a response, then that's what we're looking for. Anyways, with it installed, you'll run once again nano Zish RC, and in here, in your plugins, you'll simply add in Zish Interactive CD, such as this. Save it, close it, which is Control S, Control X, Run Zish once more to refresh and using CD, let's say slash hitting tab, you should see a pop up like this, allowing you to easily interact and find out where you're going. If you'd like to learn more about Zish plugins in the description down below, once again, in the Zish GitHub page, simply choose plugins here and you'll see a huge list of thousands of them. There are many plugins such as Docker, for example, this one adds auto completion for Docker commands. Pretty cool. If this is something that interests you, hey, give it a look. Oh, and also aliases too. I don't think there's a way of sorting by date, but you can simply use control F and type in days to jump between ones that were updated a few days ago. Let's say months to find in the last 12 months, etc. And of course, years, it goes on pretty much forever. There's thousands of plugins. It's a pretty nice terminal. I may go in and customize it a bit further, but that's really it for this quick guide. You now know how to completely customize your console or terminal using Zish, oh my Zish, get a theme on it. And that's really it. If you'd like to know how to apply a custom theme, which is different colors to your terminal, you'll find a link to a guide for that in the description down below if you're using console. But anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.